In this illustration, we intend to simulate the impact of the projectile to the aluminium plate in the Abacus software. The plate is made of aluminium 6061T651 that hits the aluminium plate with a high speed and penetrates into it. In this question, the effect of temperature parameter on the deformation of the plate is considered. To do so, the properties of thermal aluminium should be defined. This problem has been solved for different projectile velocities and the residual velocity has been calculated. In this picture, the striking velocity is equal to 396 meters per second. In this picture, the striking velocity is equal to 508 meters per second. Here, the striking velocity is equal to 730 millimeters per second. And in the last picture, the striking velocity is equal to 863 meters per second. In this picture, the diagram of the residual velocity has been drawn based on the striking velocity of projectile. The diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Avacus software. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Avacus software. The article is entitled Perforation of Aluminium Plate with O-Give Nose Steel Rods at Normal and Oblique Impacts. In this picture, the geometric shape of projectile can be observed. In this picture, the various striking velocities of projectile can be observed. And in this picture, the results gained from this article have been drawn in form of a diagram. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of projectile. Here I'll select the modeling space as three-dimensional. Here select analytical rigid then select a revolved shell, enter the approximate size equal to 0 0.3 and continue. Here I'll draw a horizontal line. Here you can observe geometric shape of the projectile. Here the length of L is equal to 60 7.5 millimeters small l is equal to 21.4 millimeters and 2a is equal to 12.9 millimeters therefore the length of a is equal to 6.45 millimeters
the length of this line is equal to 67.5 millimeters. I will click on create arc, draw an arc. The length of this distance is equal to 21.4 millimeters. and I'll click on done. Here you can observe geometric shape of the projectile. In the next step, since the geometric shape of the projectile has been created in a rigid form, we should define a reference point for it. To do so, I will click on tools menu, then on reference point, and consider this point as the reference point of the projectile. Again, I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of target. I will select the modeling space as three dimensional. From here, select deformable, solid and extrusion. Enter approximate size equal to one and continue. I will draw a rectangle. As explained in the article, the plate has a length and width of 304 millimeters and its thickness is equal to 26.3 millimeters. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. The target is made of aluminium 6061T651. Uh, then click on general menu density the density of aluminium is equal to 2750 kilograms per cubic meter i will click on mechanical menu then on elasticity and elastic young modulus of aluminium is equal to uh, 69 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I will click on mechanical uh, mechanical menu, then on plasticity and plastic. From here, I will select Johnson Cook model. A is equal to 324 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. B is equal to 114 uh, multiplied by 10 uh, to the power of 6. N is equal to 0 0.42. M is equal to 1.34. Melting temperature is equal to 600 centigrade and transition temperature is equal to 50 centigrade. In the next step, I will click on sub option and select rate dependent. From here, I will select Johnson Cook. C is equal to 0 0.002 and epsilon dot zero is equal to one and OK. In the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, then select damage for ductile metals 
and following that Johnson Cook damage. D1 is equal to uh, negative 0 0.77, D2 is equal to 1.45, D3 is equal to 0 0.47, D4 is equal to 0, D5 is equal to 1.6, melting temperature is equal to 600 centigrade, transition temperature is equal to 50 and reference strain rate is equal to 1. In the next step, I will click on sub option menu, then select damage evolution. From here, select energy. A fracture energy is equal to 100 Newton per meter and OK. In the next step, I will click on a mechanical menu, then select expansion. Thermal expansion is equal to uh, 2.1 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 5. I will click on thermal menu, select conductivity. Thermal conductivity is equal to 190. Then click on thermal menu, select specific heat. Specific heat is equal to 900. Actually, uh, as you observe, the parameters having, having been defined for aluminium include density, elasticity, plastic, rate dependent, Johnson Cook, damage, damage evolution, expansion, conductivity, and specific heat. Actually, as the parameter temperature uh, has been considered in this question, the thermal properties of aluminium are also to be defined so that the effect of temperature should be regarded. I will click on OK. Then I will click on Create a Section, select Solid, Homogeneous, and Continue, and OK. I will click on Assign Section, select Plate, Done, and OK. In the next step, I will click on Special uh, Menu, then select Inertia and Create. Here, I will select Point Inertia and Continue. I will select this reference point. Done. The mass of projectile is equal to 82 grams. In the next step, I will uh, click on Special, select Inertia and Create. Here. I will select heat capacitance and continue. I will select the reference point of projectile done. Capacitance is equal to 450 and OK. In the next step, I will enter assembly module, enter the two parts, target and projectile into the assembly section. Click on Rotate Instance, select Projectile, Done. First, select this point, then this one. Enter the angle of rotation equal to 90 degrees and OK. After that, I will click on Translate Instance, select Projectile, Done. Select this point. then this one and OK. In the next step, I will click on Translate Instance again, select Projectile, Done. First, select this point, then this one and OK. In the next step, I will click on Translate Instance again, select Projectile, Done. Here, I will transfer the projectile as much as 31 millimeters away from the target. I will enter step module, click on create step. Here I will select dynamic temp disp explicit and continue. Actually in this step, the effects of temperature changes on the formation will be taken into consideration. The temperature parameter will also be considered in this question. The effect of temperature is 
another thing that will be regarded in this question. Here I will enter time period equal to 600 microseconds and OK. In the next step, I will enter part module. Here I intend to create partitions over the plate. To do so, I will click on Tools menu, select Partition. Here, select Face and Sketch. Select this plane. Done. Then select this line. Draw a square. and enter its length and width equal to 60 millimeters. I will click on Tools menu again, select Partition. From here, select Cell and then Extrude, Sweep Edge. Select these four lines, done. Then select Extrude Along Direction. Select this line, OK, and click on Create Partition. In the next step, I will enter Mesh module, click on Seed part, enter approximate global size equal to 0.01. Then click on Seed edge, select the sides of the small square. done and enter approximate element size equal to one millimeter in the next step i will select these lines done consider the number of elements equal to 26 for them and OK in the next step I will click on assign element type select plate done put element library on explicit put element family on coupled temperature displacement tick on reduced integration option and OK I will click on mesh part and yes. As you observe, fine meshes have been used on the area where the projectile impacts on the plate. In the next step, I will enter Load Module. Click on Create Boundary Condition. Select Displacement Rotation and continue. I will select the bottom of the plate. Done. And close all boundary conditions of displacement for it. In the next step, I will click on Create Boundary Condition again. Select Displacement rotation and continue. I will select the projectile reference point. Done. Close all boundary conditions of displacement for it except U3 and OK. I will click on create predefined field. 
Here select other and then temperature. Continue. Select plate. Done. Enter the initial temperature of plate equal to 27 centigrades and OK. I will click on create predefined field. Here select velocity and continue. I will select the projectile reference point. Done. And enter the initial velocity of projectile equal to 396 meters per second. In the next step, I will enter Interaction module. Click on Create Interaction property. Select Contact and continue. I will click on Mechanical menu, then select Tangential behavior. Enter the coefficient of friction equal to 0.02 and OK. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, then click on Surface and Create. Here I will select Geometry and Continue. I will select Projectile, Done, and select the outside surface of the projectile that is brown. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, then select Set and Create. Here select Node and Continue. Here I will select Target and Done. In the next step, I'll click on Create Interaction, select Surface to Surface, Contact, and Continue. Here I'll select Projectile and Continue. Then I will click on Node Region. Here, select Target set that is of node type and continue and OK. In the next step, I will enter step module, then click on tools menu, set and create. Select the projectile reference point and done. After that, I will click on Create History Output. Continue. Here, select Set, then RP. Here, we should select our intended outputs. I will select the velocity of projectile uh, directed at Z and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Field Output Manager, then on Edit. Here, I'll tick on Status, Some Failure and Plasticity Models option. Then tick on Failure Fracture option. And select the options failure measure component and damage initiation criteria and OK. Click on create job and continue.
Here I will select NT11, that is actually the indicator of temperature. Here you observe the temperature of the plate, as you know, once the bullet impacts the aluminium plate, its initial energy is consumed for the formation and releasing of the heat. Therefore, the temperature of the contact area increases locally, causing the steel to soften up and become tractable. In fact, as it can be observed, the temperature of the plate increases up to 900 centigrades. Actually, we will have the most temperature at the area where the projectile penetrates through the plate. As you observe when the projectile impacts on the plate, the temperature suddenly increases exceedingly and it will rise even up to 900 centigrades. In the next step, we intend to draw the diagram of the projectile velocity. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output and continue. Here, I will select the velocity directed at Z axis and then click on Save As. Here, you observe the diagram of the projectile velocity the initial velocity is equal to 396 meters per second and the residual velocity is equal to 267 meters per second. I have entered the impact uh, velocity or the same striking velocity equal to 396 meters per second and the residual velocity equal to 267 meters per second. In the next step, I will increase the velocity to 508 meters per second.
Here, I intend to draw the range of the variations in the velocity of projectile. Here you observe the diagram of the variations in the velocity of projectile. Here, the initial velocity or the same impact velocity is equal to 508 meters per second and the residual velocity of projectile is equal to 417 meters per second. I will record all this information in this Excel file. In the next step, I will increase the initial velocity of the projectile up to 730 meters per second.
In the next step, I intend to draw the velocity of the projectile. As you observe here, the initial velocity of the projectile is 730 meters per second and the residual velocity is equal to 670 meters per second. I will record and save all these figures in the Excel file. In the next step, I will increase the initial velocity of the projectile to 863 meters per second. As it can be clearly observed, the initial velocity is equal to 863 meters per second and the 
residual velocity is equal to 813 meters per second. Actually, uh, we solved this problem for four different uh, velocities and the initial velocity of projectile in the first state is equal to 396 meters per second. It is equal to five, uh, 508 meters per second. Uh, 730 meters per second and in the fourth state it is equal to 863 meters per second here we intend to compare the results gained from the abacus software with those experimental ones. In this table, we can compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those mentioned in the article. Here, the initial velocity is equal to 396 meters per second and the residual velocity is equal to 200 67 meters per second. The residual velocity has been mentioned equal to 266 meters per second in the article and this velocity has been registered as 267 meters per second in the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article. The initial velocity of projectile has been registered equal to uh, 508 meters per second in the Abacus software and the residual velocity is equal to 417 meters per second. This residual velocity has been mentioned equal to 415 meters per second in the article and it is equal to 417 meters per second in the Abacus software and as it can be observed the results gained from the Abacus software are very close to those mentioned in the article for this case as well. Regarding the third case the striking velocity is 730 meters per second and the residual velocity obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 670 meters per second. The residual velocity has been mentioned equal to uh, 665 meters per second in the article. As you observe, in this case, the results gained from the Abacus software are close to those mentioned in the article as well. The residual velocity obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 600, 
70 meters per second and this velocity has been mentioned equal to 665 meters per second in the article. And in the last case, the striking velocity is equal to 863 meters per second. And the residual velocity is equal to 813 meters per second. Here we intend to simulate this diagram in the Abacus software and compare the results gained from the Abacus software with those mentioned in the article. In this diagram, the horizontal air axis is the striking velocity and the vertical axis is the residual velocity. The diagram having been drawn with red color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close to the experimental results or, in other words, the results gained from the Abacus software 
are exactly concordant with the results mentioned in the article.